welcome to today's video. Woo! Woo, woo, woo. Um, it is the Life and Times of Miss Renee YouTube channel and you are most certainly welcome. I hope as you're watching this video you have already subscribed to my channel. Woo, woo, woo. Yes! Anyway, uh, thanks so much for tuning in to today's video. So today I'm just gonna uh, share my actually my journey with natural hair from the time I started to have natural hair to the time now it's like this all right Probably the whole of 2020 I did my hair maybe twice or thrice and uh, actually after I lost my job and um, I discovered this this can be actually a thing uh, the braids um, I probably will probably will never ever do my hair ever like go to the salon to do my probably i will never unless it's really really necessary for me to do so but i probably might never ever go to the salon ever again are uh, you and for me the twist outs is in kata like i really tried to to get it together with the twist outs but i can't i'm just not able to so i just decided i'm not going to stress myself and i'm just going to be doing braids all the freaking time all right and now i even have a wig so this hairstyle is so convenient because i can just put my wig on have you watched my introduction video i came to understand that i wasn't so clear what exactly i'm trying to do with my youtube channel and so i did an introduction video and the link is in the description box below just watch it so that you can get to understand what miss renee is all about there's also a get to know me video that i'm gonna do a longer one this one was just a preview of what you should expect but i'm gonna do a get to know me video where you can get just get to know me so first I'm going to share it just a minute I'm going to share it as I do I redo this hair as you can see it's a bit unkempt this is just a protective style that I keep my hair in because um, if I leave it open it's a bit harder to take care of it because um, when I go to sleep and then assuming maybe I had an afro in the evening and then I go to sleep if the afro has been compressed and then now getting it you know detangled and to to pop out it now becomes a problem but when I do this it's easier because it's just undoing uh, a little bit of moisturize uh, of uh, a little bit of moisturizing and bam we got a look of so first thing is I don't know why I'm feeling like this camera is not positioned properly so first thing is to I usually do uh, something called a pre poo pre poo is basically to just oil your hair uh, right before you shampoo it. Uh, this is really good when you've plated your hair and uh, you are about to undo and want to shampoo. Yes, pre pooing is basically just returning or putting back, giving back the hair the nutrients that it lost as it was in its, excuse me, plated state or whatever state it was in right before you shampoo. Pre pooing really helps to restore back. In, uh, hair nutrients and just make it stronger makes it easier to manage as you're doing the wash and this is one of the things that actually has helped my hair to really 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 grow for pre pooing it's best it's best to use a liquid oil you see it's always best to use a liquid oil this is sheer nut oil this i love it i used it for a very for a while for like two to three years and you as you can see these are the results and then um you can also use avocado oil you can use jamaican black castor you can use there's this other one uh coconut oil and you can use olive oil now for me those last two i don't like olive oil it's just that it's never worked for my hair so please don't ask me what about uh nini what is it called your olive oil, Mimi, na olive oil, at Welewani, at Patani Mahali, where it's over, we, we, we already said goodbye to each other. Then there's coconut oil. I also feel like coconut oil, I tried to use it, I tried, but it's not working for my hair. I feel like it's best for skin. I've seen uh, even somebody say it's good for hair, makeup removal. And then I think coconut is best in the kitchen. 
coconut oil for me works amazing when it comes to cooking i love the taste of food when i use coconut oil because it tastes like heaven or whatever so i think coconut oil, okay coconut oil is being misused i don't think it's for hair i don't think so it's like when you go to research about avocado oil or Jamaican, they tell you how these uh, ingredients, or I mean, sorry, these oils have such great benefits for skin. Personally, I don't think so. Me, I got extreme breakouts. So I think that when it comes to organic oils, it's always good to just test them out and see what they're good for. And for me, I think avocado and Jamaican are the best for hair and coconut oil is just for cooking. So probably even virgin, I see virgin oil, sorry, your olive oil is also good for cooking. But for me, honestly, I can't, like, it's over. It's, I'm, I'm done with the olive oil. I know it's good and whatever, whatever me, I, get, I don't fuck with it. I probably will not undo these braids and then I probably will just keep them like this. I want to refresh them, but I'm also going to shampoo my head, okay? But the point is to refresh these braids. So I'm just going to do a little bit of pre-pooing. As I talk about my journey, as in my the start, so I started um, growing my hair. I used to cut it, 2015, 2016. Actually, towards, actually, probably 2016, to a half of it, like from, let's say, June all the way to deck, my hair was ilikwemekatwa. The reason why I used to cut my hair at that time is because I was under a lot of stress. That is the period when I was like really, 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 really extremely fundamentally and out of this world depressed. And so I felt like my hair was stressing me out even more, having to figure out um, what style to put, how, where I'm going to get the money to plate it. Okay, yes, my parents will give me, but I don't know. Have you? It, it, I don't. Have you guys got it? Okay, me personally, I've gotten to that age where I feel so. Okay, maybe 2016 I was younger. Okay, but I was starting to feel like I don't want to borrow from my parents. Like I was starting to feel like I'm, oh, I'm, I'm overstepping, you know. Yes, I'm their child, but I started to feel like I should be having my own whatever, source of income, I don't know. So anyway, I, I would get so frustrated with it. So eventually I just cut it. My hair generally was long. I can't uh, deny that. My hair has been long, basically, for ever since I was a kid. Up to the time when I'm telling you I used to cut it. But then also, there was a period in high school my hair was so bad because I never used to take care of it. So I remember even there was a time, Upper Numa, it's like it was almost forming a whole patch. Like my hair was cutting so badly. And then I started regrowing it. And uh, at that time, I still didn't, wasn't privy or aware of organic products or organic oils. I don't even think they had started to become a thing, basically. I think people used, people used it, people used to use, but, but we, we were never privy to the information. So, okay, personally, I wasn't. So, um, I remember <laughs> my small brother is the one who came into the told me, Irene, you look so ugly. Now, when I had shaven my hair, you look like a boy. What? Hey, hey. I'm telling you that's the last time I shaved my hair. That was in November 2016. Was the last time I shaved my hair and I've, I've never ever shaved again. And so that is where this whole journey started. <laughs> so, cause now this video, it, it can't be, I just had to end at 30 minutes. I'm going to end the video here. And then I'm going to continue this conversation in the next video whereby I'll have already shampooed my hair and it will be ready for re redoing, all right? Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe. Usisa, how to subscribe? Tafadali, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Let's get, we already like 10, 10, just 10 people need to subscribe so that I can get to 100 subscribers, all right? All right. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up i hope i've given a bit of information in this video so i hope you uh learned something and yeah see you in the next video